Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Bloodwest here on Nutshare Professional Walkthrough channel with me, your host Max. So, uh, on the previous one, I think we were actually able to collect the last piece of whatever the heck it, it is that I'm trying to assemble here in the Swamplands. And uh, I'm still tasked to go retrieve the relic. And I think I'm being a little too cocky because I'm considering actually the option of going out there and trying to challenge those three ghostly gunslingers along with the skulls. And what I'm hoping to achieve by doing so is to actually uh, retrieve the relic, which can be either given to the bishop or to the um, the lady with the big, big personality. Little sad town for little sad... F so what I'll try to do here is sell the damn scrolls. I really, like, uh, am a little bit upset that uh, I unfortunately cannot accumulate the space uh, in the storage bin otherwise. So that's a little bit problematic for me. Uh, 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 uh. These flowers also, they grow everywhere, but I can't really do that much with them. So this way, at least um, freeing up some of the space in my inventory because I have all these bows and crap like that, but I don't really do that much with it. I do have ridiculous amounts of money. So I was thinking maybe I would get the uh, other super rare pistols or something of such nature. And... Uh, we're gonna see if there's still something that's needed of me to assemble to acquire or whatever so those are kind of like the ideas that i'm currently thinking about uh, we do have some supplies we can of course open the containers to see just how much junk i'm carrying around in general uh, I can directly put this over here, or leave this out to the open for maybe even more ammo. And put the rooster's head over there, so I have quite a lot of keys. Uh, ammo should not be an issue. But the issue will be trying to remember just where in the hell was it i think it was by the alligator farm somewhere over here this is where those uh variants from the first uh level in the wild west i forgot the creature's name which keeps spawning in the skulls was and here it has like acid blood so those were hanging around over here and i think somewhere out over here was where they kept the Thanks. I'm not really sure uh, where can I check the objectives. I do have these three things, so that should mean I will be able from whom the bell tolls. Rumor has it there's an elixir or uh, something uh, that could cure any illness, no matter how severe. So that's what I'm thinking. I'll try to do. I'll try to go. And I'll try to utilize the actual uh silver bullets in order to get rid of the three knuckleheads uh unfortunately i don't have access to explosives i don't know if the bishop here or priest would be willing to sell me some dynamite or something useful he has mostly just potions and the bandages and the healing potion, which I won't say no to, of course. But the rotation of the weapons is going to be the pain in the ass. In the later potential stages. Okay, this should do just fine. Uh, I don't really need the basic ammo from you and from you. If you would finally wash. Uh, I do have plenty of these keys. It's also not really worth buying them. Uh, she, she has only apparently a Molotov cocktail. The weirdest thing is that this almost looks like the potion which I'm supposed to get to her. Uh, I, I don't think the Molotov cocktail would do Jack Squad. So what I'll do is grab the silver bullets instead. 
just so that I have more of them. And that should allow me to deal with those three knuckleheads. Although chances are, because I haven't played the game in a ridiculous amount of time lately. Uh, it, it, it can turn into quite the uh, really terrible showcase of what not to do. But since we were able to clear out the cultist cave, I'm a little cocky here, so there's that. But seriously, I have no freaking idea right now where in the world are those three knuckleheads. So that's something that I'll have to keep in mind. Uh... Because this game heavily rewards and punishes you for screwing up. I think, yep, I think I remember it the right way. So it's over there. So the question is, if I should be screwing around with this knucklehead and... The answer is yes. How many rounds will it take me to take him out using the silver bullets? It took me two rounds. Don't come back. Okay. Uh The issue is going to be, though, if I dispose of the first one successfully. Crap, there's actually multiple locations where they can be hanging out. If I... Dispose of the first one successfully, how will I deal with the... Uh, additional two that will launch the subsequent attack at me following the kill that is if I don't fudge it up okay something seems to be in here I'm not sure if it's knuckleheads in the camp over there Okay, so... Yeah, there's a potion. My honest-to-god target first are the three knuckleheads. Uh, the gunslingers. Once the bullet towers start flying through the air... Come on. Problem with the goddamn skulls is that they can like go through the terrain. I don't really want to be wasting silver bullets on you of all the goddamn things. God damn it. I'm blind as a bat. Are you freaking... Thank God I had the brains to buy those additional rounds. But now I have to go and try to deal with the rest of them. Fingers crossed they did not repopulate too much. This is a tricky fight, though. Ah! 
I also fudged it up because I did not restock the... health potion forever in that slot but sometimes even going in guns blazing can do some miracles but I don't recommend it Uh, okay, I burned through almost my entire reserve of silver rounds. Which is not good because I still have no clue what's the boss fight like in this level. But I think I saw it and it should be some sort of weird creature moving around shooting some sort of projectiles. Oh, you're just annoying. Please just don't spawn crap ton of stuff if I pick this up. Okay, uh, so basic ammo, that's not an issue. I should probably switch back to crossbow. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm not that patient because I'm like trying to decide whom to give the damn thing to. Is it just you two? How the hell do I get up there? Nah, there's more of you. Be gone. I hear a lot of movement. Is there something in the damn pit? Holy crap. That's a lot of them. I do wonder what a Molotov would do. I do know that I would need for the big fella a dynamite stick to take him out with a single shot. I think the butcher is gonna realize that I'm here when he sees the... Were they able to throw to something at me? Bleeding. That was slightly confusing. I think I thought they would literally cook alive. Rest easy, my friend. Yeah, they're definitely shooting projectiles at me. After being aggravated. But I don't know if I shot the head or the projectile. I feel like there's something at the bottom of the pit. I see some sort of weapon. Here's some friendly advice. Don't get back up. Whoa. Definitely see some sort of sawed-off shotgun. I rid this land of you.
The Butcher still does not give a flying duck. My concern now is if I decide to crawl down there, how in the hell am I gonna get out? Seems like I would need to use the stomps. To do it. Alas, it's never enough. Yeah, I might get some supplies out of this. You never know. Could always do with some more bullets. Whatever gets the job done. I don't understand why in the world would they keep them in here. But as long as someone won't show up all of a sudden and start tossing in more bodies or more of these creatures, I don't give a flying donkey. Let's just see if I can climb out. I think I accidentally picked Can't up even his box. shotgun. I think I accidentally picked up all the damn shotguns. Problem is now, which one was mine and which one is theirs? Let's unload the ammo. That won't fit. I get 22 for these, so... Yeah, sure. Always use some extra cash. I've tried to utilize the explosive uh, bolts on uh, the butcher unfortunately that helmet provides decent enough cover for him so it never really did what i was hoping for it to do so now the eternal question is what gun to try and shove down his throat to make quick job of it. Uh, it's usually the shotgun which works the most efficient. But I have to like really sneak up and I see more of them around. The unfortunate use of Molotov would just I think aggravate this big f bastard. I, I hear him running. I was waiting for him to run out of breath but man this one actually does not skip cardio and there's one more on the palisades they need it at some point you never know I just want to grab whatever is in here More of them? I'm not actually sure. I'd rather not get down here before I know the coast is clear. I don't really want to take the rusty rifles. Okay, there's definitely something. Right on the mark. Okay. 
take the fangs. I do not regret clearing out the pits. Fudge! You know what I just realized? I just totally screwed up. What If I would have a stick of dynamite, if I would have thrown that stick of dynamite into that pit, that's a guaranteed achievement where you need to kill five things with the use of one dynamite stick. Crap. Oh well. Maybe next time. <sighs> Still not really sure what the hell is waiting for me with the boss fight and uh, how much more do I need to do here. I have that potion. Uh, I think I'm gonna give it to the girl with the big personality. I'm still gonna probably end up in the friend zone. I could use a bag or two. Twin can look so innocent when she plays around, like a normal kid. Poor little thing. Yeah? Don't tell me you've actually found it. Thank you so much! Wait, it's... liquid? Huh. Somehow it never occurred to me that it may be a potion. Well, I'll manage somehow. Thanks again. Okay. Uh, so... Need to get rid of these damn guns. Is there something else which I wanted to get rid of? The teeth. Yeah, sure, let's get rid of this thing. That's an interesting one. That is an interesting one. Might hold on to that for shits and giggles. I don't know. Uh, okay. Again, well supplied with the coins. I'm trying to figure out what to hold on to, what to get rid of. Okay, so ammunition wise, virtually this full stack cannot really go that well anywhere. Most of these are full as is. Okay, this one can go actually over here. You can be placed over here. I hate when I accidentally click sword items, it just always does the worst thing ever. Uh, lever action rifle. It's not even a rusty one, but I'll put it away. Because I'm using this one, the Hedera. Which I was able to come across, I believe, on board of the steamboat. I, I, I don't want to see for sure because it's been a while since I played the game, so I don't want to give you false information. Okay. Uh... This gun, though, I don't know. The tomahawks, I've never really gotten used to them too much. And should I tell the bishop that I gave her the cure or something, or... I should probably talk to this thing about retrieving all the three pieces. We sense you have something reeking of undeath. Is it what we think it is? Ah, a 
skull of our undead friend. Whatever dreamless sleep he dwells in, soon he will be awoken. Hmm. Yes, this item will suffice. Go on, there's more work to be done. Wait, did you feel that? Something's moving, something humongous. Seems we've poked a stick into a snake's nest. Whatever that thing is, its power is immense. We feel a connection between its awakening and the peace you gave us. Which means we're on a good track. And don't even think of trying to fight that thing out there. It's too powerful right now. That's why we need that undead back from his dreamless sleep. His brain may hold wisdom we seek. Something that would allow us to strike the beast. Okay. Every place we visit has a different flow of energy, like a signature. Spirits are bound to those movements, following it like a thirsty man seeks out storm clouds on the horizon. I found this weird thing. It's a hat. Such a simple piece of clothing, and yet... We can feel... importance. Seems the previous owner really liked it. Very well. We shall use it. Hmm. Yes. This item will suffice. Go on. There's more work to be done. Hey. Whoa. And... Whatever walked upon this land, it left it desecrated and scarred. Everything, alive or undead, fears its return, it seems. Okay, I gotta go check this thing out at least. Maybe even possibly get myself killed. You never know. I mean, these are not your professional walkthroughs at the end of the day. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, that's some true Cthulhu type of nightmare. Let's go give them the last piece and see what I'm gonna be told I need to do. Swamps, we hate it here. Mud, rotting foliage, buzzing of thousands of insects. If we were living being, we would go mad here. This weapon bears signs of heavy use. It must have taken many a life. And it in itself was a life for its owner. Good job finding it. Hmm. Yes, this item will suffice. With this, we can prepare the ritual. You did well, but there's much more to be done. Time to make whole what is now broken. He who layeth before us shall rise from the clutches of oblivion. Nervous, are you? No need to be. We'll do all the work now. We have the experience. Now watch. It is done. What was once broken is now whole again, so to speak. The sight brings back memories. Go talk with him, huh? Remember why we put this undead back into one piece. We need his knowledge, and that we shall get by any means necessary. Okay. I walk the earth once more. Just to think, the first thing I see as I'm brought back from the brink of oblivion 
is the face of another undead. Mm, I know this magic that keeps you alive. I have seen it before. Working with some malicious souls, eh, partner? <laughs> Watch your back when dealing with them. <sighs> Still, if seeing your ugly mug is necessary to walk the earth again, I will take this chance. Hell, I may even kiss ya. <laughs> Good to be back and whole again. Okay, this guy apparently holds primarily ammunition. I don't really know if the flammable rounds will do anything, but I guess it's better to take them and have them than to not have them and complain about not having them. But I'll have to ask him why the hell am I gonna get rid of that thing that's above us? What kind of deal you have with this totem? Why couldn't he give me a full body like yours? Oh, reduced to a sack of bones I am. Not with fire and brimstone, obviously. You talked with him, didn't you? Damn, bastard. As if betrayed me wasn't good enough. Ah, to hell with it. I know a way to get rid of that malicious bark-covered brick. We, I mean me and the bastard you talked to, were close in our preparations for a dark rite. In fact, there was only one thing remaining left to do. Here in luck, most ingredients should be where we left them. The only missing element is something bounding to this place and time. And I know what will suffice. He's gonna tell me I need to bring like 60 of those flowers, I'll get pissed. You will take this part. What we need are pieces of the beasts lurking in this area. And a single rare plant. They will be our connection, the link. Ever so bloody and messy. Cultist teeth, a giant leech, Rogaro's tongue, and finally, an angel's halo. I'm sure you know where you find them all. When you come back with everything, I will commence to write. After that, it's hunting time. Okay, so the problem is the resources which I need to generate or acquire. Uh, most of them I've already sold to. Another tragedy struck our little community. A preacher, he's gone. Had a nasty fit of his illness and went out to get some fresh air. At first, we all heard him coughing up his lungs out there, but then it all went quiet, and he didn't come back. And we started looking for him. He was nowhere to be seen. I wonder if your choice was right. I am alive and getting better, but if the price for this was his death, is this fair? Is my life worth more than his? Sorry, I won't mention this again. Just wanted you to know. Uh, crap. Well, she does have a stick of dynamite. I'm really thinking here. This thing costs 4,500. But uh, I, I don't really have that much practice with this weapon. So I don't know what to think of it. So what were like the objectives that I'm supposed to do? I need to gather a few items. A giant leech, Rogero's tongue, cultist teeth, and the water lily known as Angler's Halo. 
Angler's halo is here, so can I, like, give it to him? Being an undead has its cons. I can't smell the fear of my enemies anymore. Uh... How it felt? What do you want to know? You belong at land... Nah, nothing. I don't know if it needs to be, like, specifically in my inventory all at once in order for it to work, but this makes me think I'm gonna unfortunately have to do something which I hate to do, and that's go to sleep. Letting all the enemies respawn. And, uh... I'll rest where I am. The problem is I'm gonna have to go around killing all those creatures which I have already killed all over again while dodging the massive beast that's roaming around here atop this cave system. All in the hopes that I can collect a teeth which is gonna be the easiest thing to get. Wait, what no, do you so? No, no! Adults talk too much. We talking? Okay. So I'll need the tooth and all the other nonsense. The problem is right now it's like right in the path, which. What the funk are you even? That is one ugly ass thing, and that's coming from me. Oh, at least it seems like some sort of mutated creature from the swamp. It's definitely gonna be more interesting than a stupid tree, I guess. That is one ugly ass mollusk. You know, like, this looks like the shell. Maybe it's some sort of leech. I don't know. The problem is managing your timing correctly when you leave this location. Wait, I thought that the enemies would, like, respawn because I slept. Where in the hell am I gonna get a bunch of these knucklehead... Oh, God damn it. <laughs> think I'll get my tooth in here. Right on the mark. That's what you get for not hoarding everything. Mm, spicy. So this takes care of the tooth. I swear I heard some footsteps. How do I split? Okay, so I'm gonna try to arrange all these things so that they are within this one slot. The problem is I keep hearing the footsteps. I just don't know to whom the hell they belong to. The dogs. Definitely need to die. But I'm not sure right now if they are going to provide me with the leech or what the hell does provide me with the leech anymore. Issue is also the feeding frenzy. Crap, crap, crap. You got lucky there. You won't be missed. 
the, the, so this was like a problem because I did not know who all decided to rejoin the party. Of course, this damn dog doesn't have anything on him. Could always do with some more bullets. Son of a biscuit. Of course, this one does not have either. Man. Now, I have to be careful because I just simply do not know what has respawned. What has not respawned. I definitely hear one of those idiots with the sh shotgun. It is a lot. Crocodiles are in the bayou. Or gators, sorry. There's a difference. Problem is, I really don't know if going for the town, for example, would yield the best potential result for me to come across all the samples, which I'm trying to collect now. Because um, I have uh, a giant leech, a rugerous tongue, cultist teeth. Cultist teeth, I'll need to get the cultist. Angel's Halo. I really don't know if I'll need to go over here and kill one of those two bastards. The issue is now that since I slept, I don't know what has respawned and what has not respawned. These things usually are never just alone. God damn it. There's a body of some sorts. Man, I really am pissed about that pit. Could have been an easy achievement just like that. But I mean, I'm playing this for the first time and I'm not really doing it for the achievements. I'm just trying to see what the game has to offer. Definitely is challenging. It definitely is not for everyone, but it definitely has cool moments. And uh, the fact that you can die so easily is also an appealing part of the stealth mechanic because it just shows that you're kind of like a glass cannon almost and uh, if that cannon does manage to miss its shot you will shatter like glass from just few attacks so here's the gator farm from my memory it's not really the farm where I'm trying to go to. It's more that location over there. That's where I saw... Those creatures uh, rotating. Seems like only the skull is in here. The bones. Reason why I'm taking it out is I'm hoping that by clearing this out, I'll be able to. Huh, maybe useful. Ah, oh, you gotta be. Ooh, this one will hurt. Is that some sort of specialized one? Faster reload by twenty-four. 20, 25 percent huh okay the thing is i still don't think i'll be using the crossbow to try and take out these big freaky things 
and having this loud noise behind my back is also not helping me so that's what i'm looking to kill uh i think a dynamite stick would work its magic beautifully i haven't really been using the stones to throw around and distract everything Oh, shindig. The thing is, I believe if I would be able to throw the damn dynamite stick at that creature... I would have a chance, but... This was a stupid choice. This was a really stupid choice. I was really hoping that I can take it out. That did not work. I should have used the goddamn dynamite stick. Earth is shaking. Ah, oh, goddamn it! Goddamn it! Goddamn it! That was not my best moment. Not at all. I want to just rearrange these things, goddammit. Do, do you really have to give me a third degree about it? This one is the largest one. This one is not the basic bolt. A keen bolt. You still don't know the, the difference between them. Ah, god damn it! I have to travel back like a total doof doofus. All while trying to dodge this goddamn beast. Of course, it has to be over here. I don't know if it's gonna do something while I'm trying to just move around. Wait, I know that there were cultists. God damn it, did I sell all like the cultist teeth and everything? I really thought that like going to sleep would actually like respawn the damn idiots. What gives you a big leech? For the love of God. If I would have known this shit, I would have hoarded these things from the start. I'll have to try and make it back over there. Thing is, I don't know. No, what are all the things which respawned in here? And question is, if the idiots in the hole in the ground actually respawned, do I sacrifice the goddamn dynamite stick on them? I think the butcher is back. God damn it. Out of my sight. Oh, for fudge's sake, are you joking me? I did not manage to get all of them. Worst day ever. Oh, 
Oh, that's just... Oh, fudge. God damn it. Just... God damn it. And here I thought I'll get an achievement. All I get is a whole lot of another. And unfortunately, the gunslinger seems to be back. Problem is the amount of the bullets I have left here. If it's just one, I can clear him out. That is if I would not miss. It's kind of those important details. Alas, it's never enough. gets the job done now i'm thinking to myself well what the hell are you gonna do now you dumbass how many times can i possibly can't get myself killed doing something so stupid should i try and attack it from this much far away I mean, damn well, there's two of these damn things. Two attacks was enough for it to slay me. You know what? Uh... I'll try to somehow switch the ammo. Something. Yeah, that's that stalker's heart. And now I'm gonna figure out that I've just died in vain because I don't need a heart. A giant leech, uh, a Rugaro's tongue, cultist teeth. Oh! <laughs> I'm an idiot! I did not need this thing at all. Oh my god. The problem with the noise that that creature is making is that I have no clue if there's something literally next to me. Or like what in the world is going on. Where the hell do I get a giant leech? Ah, fudge it, I'll Google this. Okay, uh, apparently gators should have the leeches. Of course, where I am, there's not a single gator in sight. Try to find one. I cannot believe I just died for no goddamn good reason. I really thought that actually sleeping means that all the enemies on the map respawn instantaneously. Like you completely repopulate the map. I, I don't know if that's dead or not. Okay, that has to be dead alligator. I definitely know for a fact that there were those puppies or something over there.
The problem is now I'm looking for the alligator and I'm trying to dodge all these other knuckleheads. Also, the chances are I won't get uh, from the first gator I kill what I'm looking for, so... Then what the hell do I do? Try to dodge the stupid dogs. You're not welcome here. The butchers are back, or at least one of them is. It's really annoying though that the sound from the creature in the center of the swamp where we have our base of operation is so extremely loud. It really like I'm playing this with headphones so obviously I don't have some sort of double audio recorded with the use of the microphone. Of course I had to strip down all of these damn corpses. Butcher. I don't really feel like playing with the butcher. All I want is one goddamn gator. Problem is, the gator over there is, uh. That's the issue. It would take just way too many goddamn bolts take out these big bastards <laughs> oh my god how the hell were you able to hit me I'm not sure if this was the smartest thing considering the dogs and everything else. Oh my god, are you trying to tell me? That was not enough? Okay, at least we have my freaking leech. How the hell are you not aware of what the hell would I... Just... Yeah, th this is the one thing which I have a problem with this game. Like trying to really determine at what point the game says okay now now the enemy is gonna know what you've done and now the uh, enemy will not know what you have done so uh this 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 where's the quest uh, nonsense a giant leech Rugaru's tongue. It's one of the damn dogs, ain't it? I think so. Unfortunately, I had to sell the goddamn pages. So now no nobody knows what the hell is what again. There should be one aggroed dog. Please tell me at least this one has the damn tongue. Of course not. Ah, oh, I was just looking for those. God damn it. I think in front of the mail. is where a ridiculous amount of those dogs were hiding out at or waiting or lurking. Yeah, we'll need those. So I guess I'll have to go try to go to the lumber mill. Of course, now that I'm actually looking for the goddamn ingredient, it's gonna be impossible for me to get it because. Uh... 
Okay, that can go over there. You can go over there. Don't have the golden rounds in here, though. But now I can do this. Some of these specialized rounds, I just don't think they do something that special. It might bite me in the ass eventually saying something like that, but I am who I am. Uh, the problem is trying... Ah, the sawmill is actually not that far. I just am hoping to bypass... All this BS with the skulls. Just don't look my way, goddammit. Thank God I've invested all those points into sneaking around. Under the bridge actually does have population of like a berserker and some of these other knuckleheads, which is thankfully on the other side. Okay. Reggie Raggy Roo Ro Ro Ro. Almost sounds like the sounds Scooby Doo used to make. But I'm hoping that I'll find the damn pooches over there. Righteous death. This game will burn through your time. That's for sure. But if you play this for like the first time versus I don't know, second time, I think you're going to see some significant Improvements. Unless you're an idiot like I am. Starting to run low. Then I cannot promise you anything. S seriously, how the hell do I get this damn tongue? Come on, show me. I'm trying dog like enemies. Yeah, I have to keep killing them. Right. Fortunately, all these corpses are not going to start dropping the tongues now. This is just the most painful thing ever. Because I don't feel like clearing out the map a second time. Would've, who would have thought that... Trying to hoard these damn things would be important. The reason why I'm pulling the rifle is because I saw two of them. Stay down. O okay. How is that even possible? So I shot one of them. Got a headshot from the back. The second one... Where the hell is the second one? Uh, nothing? Where the hell did that damn dog go?
Just hope I won't get lucky tunnel vision while looking for this one stupid dog. That I'll get taken out by a goddamn gator or something else. Where the hell is this damn thing? I definitely some of the population here has returned, but not the entire population. And now, like, intentionally, the game is making me find these ingredients, which I had an abundance of before. And I was just selling them. I have no clue where the hell did that second dog ran off to. But here at the entry to the lumber mill is where a large pack of these things was. You can still see the bodies littered all over the floor. Okay, uh... Okay, those two are too close to one another. Gone and dusted. So I'm not exactly sure how that... Oh crap. How that respawn managed to work. But sick. Please tell me at least you give me the damn tongue. Finally. Okay. Uh and I think the that's not the teeth I'm looking for. I need the cultist teeth. A giant leech for girl's tongue, cultist teeth. Now the good thing about the cultist teeth was that they were even screwing around the town itself so worst case scenario can i use the actual bed to teleport myself off to the town and try to take out the cultists rest easy my friend in there that way can't shoot with rocks I don't understand that reference, but okay. Whatever floats your boat, I guess. So something is around here somewhere. I feel like my playthrough now is a little bit more bolder approach. I mean, I got already killed by a creature which I did not have to kill in the first place, so... That doesn't explain something, and I don't know what the hell to tell you. Is this the bed where I can rest, or is it somewhere else? Clearly, this place was heavily populated before. Disgusting filth. Oh, there's a safe. Little guys for big jobs. Ah, uh, it's possible I must have unlocked it already.
worth a shot. Problem is now trying to retrieve the damn bolts. We'll need those. This thing is behind the wall. This thing is a goddamn maze. Billy May's here. It's never enough. Nope. Uh, I'm trying to reach the damn bed in order to try and teleport myself to the town. Because by the church, the cultists were roaming around quite heavily. And so if I can take out those knuckleheads without having to deal with the ghouls in the uh, coffin and all that other nonsense, I would be just ecstatic. Problem is, I haven't played this thing in such a long time. I cannot tell you where exactly the goddamn bed is located at. I think it might be all the way up there. So I need to make my way to that place. Die. Actually do prefer stealth kills with the ranged weapons over the ones using the melee weapons. Because at the start, sure the axe is quite a lot of fun, but uh the town. Okay, so for whom the bell tolls, but uh, for me, it's the cultists that have my undivided attention. Unfortunately, it seems like the goddamn cemetery is completely repopulated. But I see also the cultists, and the fun thing was that, uh, I don't know, just for some reason, uh, I was able to actually headshot the cultists and one-shot them. Even with the good old crossbow, so I did not have to use some ashes to ashes. ridiculous weaponry. But when I started to play this level, I, I swore I could not for the life of it get a cultist with a single shot. Okay, there's two of them. There's just one of them here. I'll try to take out this knucklehead alone. See, it doesn't hurt now. Please tell me one of you. Of course, neither one of those two dipshits has the damn tooth. On. On. Out of my sight. Can I perform dental work on you? Little guys for big jobs. Of course I can. Okay, so. Et voila! Everything except of this tooth, I think, is what I do require. In order to cook up the damn delicious gizmo. And so I'll try to make it back to the camp. And on the next one, we will face off the boss. Because this thing is long enough as is. I just have to make sure not to run into the goddamn creature. Don't see it. How exactly do I save in this game? I think I just need to go into like... I'm not sure. Huh. Yeah, I haven't played this thing in a while.
so yeah that's gonna be it for the episode and uh, on the next one we're gonna go after the boss so i hope to see you soon thank you all for watching and bye bye for now